Hello ladies and gentlemen. Guys, such a bad news. Imagine leo hii sijui kama mmeona story ya Hairin. Mama mama nani? Mama Whitney Joki. Imagine kupoteza mtoto wako akiwa shuleni. Yaani mtoto ako mgonjwa anaenda kuambia mwalimu, mwalimu anamwambia aende afanye mtihani. Imagine mtoto analalia meza watoto wengine wanafikiria tu amelala imagine mtoto ashakufa a 15 years old girls o years old years old ako form 1 alikuwa form 1 imagine joro girls high school guys kama uko na mtoto hapo joro girls go and pick your your, your, your nani mtoto wako mtoto wako ayuko safe that is not a school in fact the principal should be arrested Yaani guys siku hizi Kenya wa Kenya wenye wako Kenya wanateseka kuliko wale wa Kenya wenye wako Saudi Arabia na Lebanon na Syria. Listen to this guys. Unajua huku hapa Saudi Arabia ukigonjeka kila ugonjwa unapewa panado. Lakini listen to what this is happening guys. I know you you were once in high school guys. Eh? Yaani this This death is very painful. Ukiona vile Hairin, mamake nani Whitney analia. Yaani hata CG guys. Imagine sometimes I wonder about the qualification of school nurses. Most of them are just rude, ignorant and professional. Ha. Is there a public school uh, with a nurse who handles medical cases with professionalism? Guys, I need your answers. What was your high school experience with them by the way? Vile ulikuanga high school. Imagine you will say you have headache and they will give you Acto. You will say you have a cold they will give you a painkiller. You will say you have a stomach ache and they will give you a Moxil. Guys, I don't know whether Unaona hapa Saudi Arabia nimewaambia kila kitu inatibiwa na Panadol. So, I'm so shocked. Ah, uh, wa Kenya wenye wako maybe nchi za Uarabuni ama majuu wanapeleka watoto wao shule za boarding za high school, mtoto anaenda kulalanga huko shule. Mtoto hata kama ako na pneumonia like this case of Joki, Joki ameuliwa na pneumonia. Unaenda kwa school na sana kwambia atienda kwanza ufanye mtihani. Imagine yani hii kifo ya, ya joki yani it has eaten me in a very different way The case was not different for 15 year old guys by the name Whitney Joki a form one student at Joro Girls She had uh, reported feeling unwell taken to the school nurse by other girls but was only given paracetamol for days Imagine guys Whitney Joki was found dead on her desk after a teacher thought she was sleeping. Unfortunately, guys, she was rushed to the hospital, but it was too late for her. Imagine she confirmed she, she was confirmed dead. According to the results, uh, according to the postmortem re- results ambazo nimepewa na mamake ambaye ni Irene This is what she said. Adi Joki alikufa kwa sababu ya acute pneumonia. A young life lost to school negligence. Imagine unapelekwa ukiwa mgonjwa na your fellow students wanakupelekea na wa hiyo hospitali. Imagine nasa anakuambia anakupea parasita alafu anakuambia urudi. Hata aja kupima, aja kufanyia kitu, anakupea tu parasita mo. Imagine you can't imagine the pain of losing a 15 years old girl just a form one student ndio maana nawaambia kama uko na mtoto pale Joro Girls High School go and pick your kid your kid might be in a danger please listen to me guys listen to me it is time school start hiring profession pro, yani mtu mtu mwenye ni professional mtu mwenye anajua mambo na udaktari Mtu mwenye ni clinical nurses ako qualified fully qualified I wonder how schools end up hiring these ones who got no value for our children's lives 
if at all Joki had been examined by the school nurse, they could have. Oh, guys, I'm I'm in much pain and my heart is still breathing. Hmm? See the pain in Mama Joki's. You can go to his to her Facebook page, guys. Pia mama ke ni nurse imagine mama ya ha, ya joki ni nurse anajita Irene akagiri you can go and watch the videos there mama amelia machozi mpaka imeisha the pain beyond pain guys knowing she entrusted her school to take care of her daughter only to neglect hi um lost of words guys let me know what you think about this incident at the comment section Yaani Kenya saa hii imekuwa Saudi Arabia. Wa Kenya saa hii wenye wako Kenya sio kuuana bure. Yaani pasta mzima anauliwa. Eh? Mtoto wa wenyewe anauliwa na hakuna kitu uh, atafanyiwa. Yaani what is what is not happening in Kenya guys? Eh? And guys, let me tell you something. I think we must teach our children to stand up for each other's right. We must teach our children not to be quiet as another suffers. They would have compelled the school administration to take action by standing up in defiance and hearing none of it. Till witness pa witness parents were notified and witness taking taken to hospital. Juu ya mtoto alipopeleka pale na hao wasichana wengine. Alipewa tu nini paracetamol. Imagine Yani I'm lacking words to explain this. That school must be closed immediately. Yani yani Kenya hii Kenya yetu yani mnyonge atabaki kuwa mnyonge. Mwenye pesa atabaki kuwa yani hata sijui ni seme nini. Eh? But I have a suggestion guys. What if all parents in boarding schools would demand for qualified uh, clinical officers? or a nurse mwenye ako qualified kabisa ju i'm very sure wengi wengi sana awako qualified na they are there imagine hao watu ndio wana treat watoto wenu niambia hata mtoto mtoto yani ulipeleka mtoto boarding school wewe unadhani mtoto wako ako self the pain of unapigiwa simu na kwanza huyo principal vile Irene mama Joki alimpigia simu alimuuliza we ni nani imagine imagine the pain hi the schools always go for cheaper labor i doubt if the nurse are registered